Now, this is truly mind-blowing and also very scary, clearly. And we've heard responses to that effect today. Ericsson says, we're now moving into the second phase, networked industries, and then the third wave, networked everything, what they call also, like I do, the networked society. Now, there's some significant things that are happening here. For example, these guys from Libelium, I mean, this slide is overwhelming. Clearly, you can download it somewhere on the web. Just look for Libelium. Everything they're doing here is basically saying the entire energy and transportation business can be made smart with mobile devices and sensors. And this is a, a revolution that's worth trillions of dollars a year. So this is all happening now here as we sit here. And this is our problem, as Ray Kurzweil has pointed out many times, even though I don't agree on many other things he's saying. But there's a lot of things to learn from him. Our world is exponential. I mean, have you noticed that when you count one, two, three, four, five, it's, that's linear. That's what humans do. You know, we get gradually along. Exponential means 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and on from there. And our problem as humans is that we can't actually understand when things change in huge leaps like they do now. We are actually now at a place to where we can say we are at 4, and the next is 8, not 5. So if you're sitting here today with your company looking at what mobile means for you or marketing, we're not talking about a gradual shift next year. We're talking about another exponential jump to 8. And what this will do for your bottom line, that's our blind spot. So as humans, we can't be exponential, unless you're Ray Kurzweil, maybe. We can't be exponential because we have human limits. We're not machines. We can improve this, but only marginally. But technology is jumping. And after 8, it's 16. That's only uh, 32 months, you know, every 18 months from now. Some of the stuff you've, you've seen today sounds like pure science fiction. The idea of having data find you and being monitored and your car being monitored and having a public self-driving sharing car, mind-boggling. So what that means for us as companies or here today, we have to take leaps. We have to take more leaps than ever before. And I live in Switzerland, and let me tell you one thing, Swiss people don't like this idea. They like to wait. I was in Luxembourg yesterday. They also like to wait. But let's take a look what happened here. You know, with Apple, half of Apple's revenue, the iPhone, didn't exist six years ago. The Kindle, the Kindle universe that, that Amazon, Jeff Bezos built, didn't exist six months ago. Look, see how they developed LinkedIn? The revenues of LinkedIn, $800 million. When I got started on LinkedIn, people were saying, why in the world are you inviting me for this online bullshit? Who wants to share information with people? And look what happened here. Didn't exist until just recently. So the bottom line is a majority of euro revenues in 2018 are very likely to come from things that don't exist today. And when you're facing this reality, you have to face one thing. If you don't invent something today to be there tomorrow, you're losing half your revenue. It's gone. If you're lucky, well, this is a lucky view, right? 